this is Eric KJ4YZI with a video tutorial on how to program the Ushan Quad Band KG UV950P amateur radio. If you have this radio and you're having trouble getting the software loaded or the USB drivers loaded, this video is for you. This video will be using the UV950, however, it may be successful with the UV920, in this case, only the quad band. So, first thing you want to do when you get your CD and programming cable with your radio, you want to put the CD in the drive, and when you open the contents, I've already copied these to my computer. You should see all these files here. You may have more, you may have less. They may be named a little differently. But what you need to concern yourself with is the Ushan software here, and this folder up here that says CP210. VCP Windows. Now there's a Mac folder for Mac, but right now we're doing Windows. This is where your USB drivers are. Go ahead and click on the Windows folder, and you'll see two installers here 64 bit, 32 bit. Uh, in this case, I'm using Windows 7 64 bit, so I'm going to use the 64 bit installer. Comes up and says, Welcome USB to UART Bridge, which is basically a USB to serial port device in your USB cable. Go ahead and click next. I accept. Done. Completing the driver. It should say ready to use and you're done with that. Next what you want to do is go ahead and plug your USB cord into your USB port and you should see in the bottom right here pop up and say installing device driver software. Done. Okay. And notice the COM number here, COM7. This is your COM port for that cable. Yours may be different than mine, but ma make sure you know what number this is. If this doesn't pop up in the bottom, no big deal. Go ahead and click Start. Go to Device. Click on Device Manager. Now, in your Device Manager, you should see Ports here. Click on Ports, and you should see your USB to serial cable here. COM7. Again, yours may be different. If you're having a problem with duplicate COM ports or you don't have enough, that's a separate topic on making virtual COM ports. There is software included for making virtual COM ports. However, this is not in this video today. So, you got the USB cable installed. Next, what you want to do is go back to the CD and find the Ushan software. Okay. Go ahead and double click that. Welcome. Click next. I accept yada yada. You can install it in the default directory here or you can pick a different directory. In this case I'm going to install it in this directory. Next, next, next. Now this says I already have it installed because I do so just you won't see this. I'm just going to click yes. Done. Installation successful. Finish. Now you have the software loaded. You have the USB drivers loaded. With your radio on in VFO mode on a frequency that's not in use, go ahead and you'll see this icon on your desktop. Okay, go ahead and find the software and open it. This looks similar to Chirp. A few more features. Chirp is used for the Bofeng handhelds. So, first thing you want to do is don't mind these numbers here. These are just what's you know factory on the uh, programming software. Go up to Memories and click on Port. This is where you're going to set your COM port. In this case, mine is the only one highlighted, COM7, but you may have other ones here. Remember, you found a number of your COM port. If yours is 5, click 5. All right, And that's your COM port. Now you're set. Go ahead and click Read. You will see on the bottom here, this is blocking it. There it is. You'll see the bar building on the bottom in blue it means it's reading on the front of the radio it says communicate on data on the screen okay it's done read ok so these are the frequencies I've already programmed in here I'll show you how to do one or two here in uh, the next ones here okay but uh, you receive for uh, let's start from the, the beginning here I want to program a repeater so the receive frequency is the frequency of the repeater uh, in this case, we're going to put in 146.775. That is your receive frequency that you would monitor on your radio. And in the transmit, that's your input frequency. So, 
you would want it to be in VHF. You want it to, in this case it's going to be negative 600, negative 0.600 offset. So it would be 146.175 negative. If yours is positive, you would add 600 to that. Okay. If you don't know what this is, and you're an amateur radio operator who is licensed, and you don't know what the offset or how to calculate it, I suggest you go back and read your manual, and uh, maybe take your license again. <laughs> um, so there's your offset, uh, negative 600. Okay. The next decoder and encoder. Uh, you probably won't use decoder uh, unless there's a repeater that is set um, as transmitting a tone, and you need to decode it to hear it. Uh, not a lot. So we're just going to leave that alone. Encoder is your PL tone or your CTCSS tone that you transmit. In this case, we're going to make this one 107.2, which is about the tone in all the repeaters in my area. And you'll notice, yes, I have this programmed up here in number two, but I'm showing you for demonstration. So 107.2 is your CTCSS tone. If you don't have a tone on the repeater, you don't have to put one in. Transmit power, that's your high, medium, or low power. We're going to leave this on high. Wide or narrow, we're going to leave it on wide. If you want to choose narrow, you can. AM, if you want it to be an AM frequency, you would choose on. That's going to make it 146.775 in AM. We're going to leave this off. Okay. Um, these next four you probably won't use. These are for additional privacy codes and stuff that we don't use in amateur radio unless you're an emergency operations uh, and you need to have a secure connection or uh, private conversation, but we don't use this, so we're just going to leave those default where they are. And in the right, you're going to see channel name. So in this case, I'm going to put AF4CN. So that is the call sign of the repeater that I just programmed. Okay. Uh, we'll do another one here. Let's put in the APRS packet frequency. So your frequency would be. 144.390 for United States and other areas for pack for APRS. Okay, there is no offset, so it's going to be 144.390 in the transmit frequency. Decoder is none. Encoder is none. You don't want a tone on that. Okay, transmit power high, wide, and narrow. We're going to leave all these. They look good for this frequency, and we're going to type in APRS. All right. Uh, We'll do another one. We'll do a um, 10 meter repeater. 29.640. That is a uh, 10 meter repeater in Texas. That comes in on FM quite well sometimes in the summer. And the offset is going to be 29.540. Negative offset. All right. uh, in this case, there's no tone on this, so we're going to leave tone none leave it on high power and I don't know the frequency or the call sign of this repeater in Texas so we're just gonna put 10 M Texas alright that's gonna be 10 meter repeater Texas so that's as simple as entering the numbers that you need and the uh, pre-selected uh, tones here alright very uh, simple when you're done here now this holds also 999 memories so you can program quite a bit of stuff Right. Um, when you're done here, you can go to the next tab up top that says configuration settings, and these are you can set these in the menu on the radio, or you can set them here while you're programming it. If you want the Roger beep on and off, which we don't use in amateur radio, so you can leave that off. Um, the voice, if you want the voice readout when you change the menu items or stuff, you could do Chinese or English. Um, timeout timer, mine's on four minutes. I'm kind of long-winded, so. If I'm holding the key for four minutes, it's going to disconnect or uh, cease to transmit until I let go and reset it. Uh, we got the, your LEDs for your transmit. You know, if you want uh, your transmit LED to be blue and your receive LED to be green and your your wait, your standby LED to be white, and there it is. Uh, your fan set, this is really cool. You can set your fan to transmit only on, I mean, to turn on only on transmit. Uh, only when the temperature reaches high temperature on transmit or always. So I'm going to leave mine just on transmit. I don't want to burn the fan out prematurely. And some other ones here, okay? You can go to VFO settings, uh, different VFO settings for VFO A and B, uh, band, preset bands here because it does have uh, 350, 700, 800, 850. All those are, are already in here. So I don't mess with none of these. You can, though, if you want. Um, 
to set these. FM broadcast memories. These are if you want some of your favorite uh, FM radio stations programmed in here. I already selected uh, six of them in here. If you want to add one, you just basically type it in. Uh, how about 100.7? All right, that's simple. Uh, 96.5. All right, so you can just program those in, and when you go into FM mode, they'll already be preset. You can do 20 of them. All right, and some other stuff, remote settings, which I won't use uh, for remote power and all that, or remote uh, controlling of the radio. All right, we're gonna leave those alone. So when you have all your frequencies programmed in here and you're ready to write them, first you want to go up to save up here. When you save it, save it to a file where you know it's going to be at. Mine is in my documents. I already have a frequencies list here, so I'm going to just overwrite it. And this is good for if you have another radio uh, in a, a club, you have a couple different radios, people all have them. You can save the file, send them the file. They can upload all their uh, you know, uh, settings here in the, in the uh, programming software to their radios without having to do it for each one. And if you factory reset your radio and lose all your information, you can go ahead and upload the file right to your radio and be back to square one. So you now you have it saved. Let's go ahead and click right. Now you're going to see there's the bar again. And it's drawing right into the radio. The radio does say communicate on data. So it's doing something. It's a lot easier than trying to configure than some of the bofungs I had. It's pretty much seamless on here. When it's done, you'll see right OK right here in the middle. You're done. It is The radio will reset, and your memories will be there. It's going to power down, turn back on, and reset, and there you go. Um, I hope that helped you get your radio programmed. Uh, this is a great radio. Um, I, I like it. I'm going to make another video on some other, uh, you know, talking on it and stuff. But uh, check out my other videos on my YouTube page or channel. You can subscribe. Ask me questions. If this didn't work for you, you can go ahead and ask me questions. I'll see if I can help you out. And I'll have a Skype name available. So when I'm out working for my hard-earned dollar, you can be on your day off at home and go ahead and ask me a message on Skype, and I'll see if I can get back to you. I'll post that on soon on YouTube. This is KJ4YZI. Thanks for watching. 7-3.